Let's be honest. What doesn't kill you doesn't always make you stronger. But you know what it does do? Gives you trauma. I say this all the time. All the time. Um, a lot of people will state that like they're resilient. I want you to understand that resilience does run out. Your body cannot maintain that form of stress and anxiety all the time. And and whenever people say that, I'm like, listen, if I stabbed you in the foot, would that make it easier for you to handle me stabbing you in the chest, in the arm, in the eye? And they're like, no. So why do you think consistently dealing with these things over and over and over and over again? attacking different aspects of your body, different aspects of your being is going to make it so that you can just deal with it. You're building up scar tissue. You're making it harder for you to feel emotions overall. And whether or not you want to admit it, that is detrimental. You have become accustomed to a terrible lifestyle and you should never have had to do that. No one should have to do that. So please, when you state that you're resilient, please understand that there's limits and there's levels to everything. You can be resilient when it comes to losing a job and finding another one and, and, and pulling yourself up and dealing with that, but it's the difference between being resilient from getting emotionally, physically abused, family members, friends, constantly being invalidated, constantly being racially gaslit, constantly having to deal with racism related stress. That is not resilience. That's trauma. Trauma is anything that overwhelms your ability to cope. That's it. Don't think that because someone has it worse than you, that it's not trauma. Someone also has it better sometimes.